How to create sign up forms using Klaviyo. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. This is one of the simple things that we can actually do within Klaviyo or the basics, which is creating a sign up form. It is actually very easy to do with Klaviyo. It just makes things a lot easier for us. And I will show you exactly how we can get started. So first you'll need to obviously create an account and log in into your dashboard here, as you can see. And then from here, after you set up your profile and account and everything we can just go to sign up forms from within within the dashboard on the left panel here so just click on sign up forms from here we can just go ahead and get started so we can just go ahead and um click on get started and now we will need to select the marketing channel um so i'm just going to use email but if you want to use sms you can feel free to do so and then you would want to select the email list that you want to create this form to I'm just going to click on next and now we will select the type of form that you want to create now here is going to be a pop-up form which is going to uh you can use on your website and it's just going to pop up uh in front of them once they try to leave the page or once they scroll 30 percent of the way down and there's also more options to choose from uh and it's just going to pop up in front of them they, they can just fill it in you can also do a full page so an entire page, which is just going to be a sign up form, fly out, embedded, which is also going to work well with your website. Uh, and I'm just going to be using pop up, but you can obviously feel free to use any of these four options. So once I select pop up, I'm just going to click on next here. Uh, and here, if you want, you can include a teaser uh, or don't include a teaser. So, um, so basically the teaser shows up after the form is closed you can change this behavior later so uh, this is just going to you know be a teaser if you want to include i'm just i'm just not going to actually show it it's going to be down here at the bottom i'm not going to include it but if you want to you can feel free to do so i'm just going to go ahead and click on next uh, and if you want you can feel free to add a unique coupon with the actual um signing up form or you can just go ahead and don't offer coupon or use a static coupon as well uh, you can see the difference between them on the right panel as always i'm just going to select don't offer a coupon and click on next and once it actually loads in we are basically going to be taken where we can just build our form so here we can actually see uh, the layout, so right side image, uh, background image, no image, it's completely up to you. I'm just going to leave it as background image. I think it looks best for me this way. Uh, and we have the text and stuff, but we can just go and click on edit form to edit everything within the actual form now, the text, uh, the form itself, and so on. So we can just go ahead and get started with the text, for example. You can just go ahead and click on an element and feel free to adjust it on the left panel. So we can just add this as a sign up form. Yes, it does look small. We can just go ahead and highlight this and we can just go ahead and increase the size for it and make it um, 30 or maybe even 40. There you go. And we can also make it bold and we can just go ahead and centralize it if you want as well. It's completely up to you what you want to do with it. Same goes for this text. Nothing really is different. And you can change the uh, style, whether it's going to be a heading, which I should have done with this one, uh, or, you know, change the actual font for them. Now, if you just go ahead and click on back here, we can also add more stuff by uh, clicking on add blocks. You can feel free to add more stuff here. So more text, a button, an image if you want um multi checkbox date uh, phone number text input and so on you have a lot of stuff that you can actually add and you can just drag and drop them and it's going to be added for you in here so i'm just going to remove this one like so uh and now we can let's say we are pretty much done here so we can actually go ahead and obviously every, everything in here is customizable. Just click on it and you'll be able to uh, customize it from the left uh, over here. But we're pretty much done. We can just go ahead and click on publish. And now it is actually published for us uh, once we actually click on uh, publish anyway. But it must be, you know, according to uh, the rules and stuff. Because I, I kind of skipped a lot of steps when it comes to editing the actual site. But yeah. 
make sure you edit it properly and then we can just go ahead and publish and then you can just choose whatever you want to do with it whether you want to embed it to your website and so on so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching